Howdy everyone, Corey here with Team Kramer Fishing and in this video I'm going to show you how I built my rod holder for uh, this collapsible wagon here. Um, you can buy these wagons at Sam's Club, they cost about $60, there's probably some other versions around. And we use it on our vacations quite a bit. Um, it folds up really handy uh, from this really big size um, so that you can put it in the back of your car. Um, and then get it out. We've used it on the beach in Texas, um, also at the beaches in Florida. Um, it's a little heavy, it pulls a little hard through the sand, um, but what I wanted to make for it was a rod holder, because um, we're gonna try to do some pier fishing on our trip to California, and some shore fishing, and I wanted a way to um, more easily transport our rods, because there's four of us, and we'll probably have a couple rods each. So this rod holder is pretty cheap, um, under 20 bucks if you have a saw and a drill already, and uh, super easy to make. And I think it's going to serve really well um, for the purpose of kind of toting our stuff around, um, given we have so many things. Um, it should work pretty decent on the beach, and it should work really well on the pier to transport all of our fishing stuff from the car to the, to the pier. Um, later on, after we get home, I think it'll be really good. Um, to use on bridges and stuff too. So let me show you how I made this handy rod holder that holds um, nine rods. Okay, so here are all the um, the tools that we need in order to make this rod holder. Um, you, you need one or the other of these. I actually have a big pipe cutter. I'm doing some renovations on my house a few years ago and um, I already had one of those in the garage, but you can use any saw to cut the this PVC pipe that I made it out of. Um, I went with one and a quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC. Um, you know, depending on how long you want the the uh, holders to be, you can just you know do the math and see how much of it you'll need. Uh, the only other thing you need is some. You can use duct tape, but I got Gorilla Tape because the tape is going to do a lot of the um, a lot of the work on on these rod holders. And then um, a cordless drill with just a small bit. Size doesn't matter too much as long as it's big enough to pass um, some 50 pound uh, big game line through. And those are all the things that you need to build this really inexpensive rod holder. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, the first thing that I did was I took my um, cutter or saw and what I decided to do was instead of keeping these um, these pipes all even, I staggered them a little bit so that you can fit your reels and closer together. So especially if you have some bigger reels, one reel would be lower then and then one reel would be higher. I didn't make them too long, I just made them long enough um, to clear this top bar on my cart. Okay. So in this, if you use a cart just like this one, I went about 16 inches on these lower ones and then I just went a little bit higher on the other ones. I think you could actually maybe make, make them a little bit bigger, give yourself just a little bit more room um, if you're squeezing a lot of rods in. So once I cut these into the, the lengths that I want them, um, the next step that I decided to do was to tape them together. Okay, so I just got some of this um, Gorilla Tape, which is super strong tape. You could use duct tape too, and it would probably work. Um, so what I did was I just eyeballed, if you pretend this is the whole length of pipe, you know, about what it would take to go a little over halfway. Um, and then I would cut a strip, keep the bottom even here, and then just simply place the tape over like this. And then all I'm going to do is to get started I did one on the top and one on the bottom and then I flipped it over to kind of keep everything stable and hold everything together as I work. So flip it over like this. Do the same thing on this side. It's a little short. We can pretend that's a little longer. I actually wanted it, want them to go around the edge. I'll do it right here. 
want it to go around the whole edge and overlap um, as much as I can. Again, nothing too technical here. I mean, this is an inexpensive um, addition to one of these carts just to make it super easy to get your poles around. And when you're not using them, you can just plop them right into the, the holder so you don't have poles laying around all over or laying in the sand if you're down on the beach. So once I did both both sides, I have both sides like this, everything's kind of held together except for I have a bigger row of nine. You know, you can make it as many as you want really. Um, so then I go in and I just layer the rest of these down until I have the whole thing covered in, in tape. Um, now I think the one weakness of this might be, I don't know how this tape is going to hold up to really hot conditions. If it's sitting in your car, you know, it could melt or something. Um, but I don't think it will do too much damage to the holder itself. Okay. So once I do that on both sides, then just to clean everything up a little bit and make it look a little nicer, I did one last, one last tape along the sides just to kind of cover up all the places where these meet and make it look you know, a little better. And then I didn't go all the way to the bottom, but okay. So once you do that to both sides, then let's say this is the side that's going to be up against the cart and up against the bar on your cart. You just want to drill some small holes. And then I drill them right at the lip so that you can just, you don't want your line to get in the way of the butt of your rod. So I just did it on the shorter ones, but you want to do a couple of them. So, like so. Drill those just on one side here that's going to go down. Now on the bottom, I drilled through both sides. So I'm going to go right here at the very bottom because I'm going to tie this on the bottom. Um, I'm going to tie this all the way around the bottom bar. So in this case, we're going to pass it through the pipe twice. Okay. So, so we just grab some line then, you know, whatever the heaviest line you have is. Um, you don't want your rod holder to break and your rods to go flying. So this is 50 pound. I think that's going to work pretty good for my purpose. So say this is the little bar in the bottom of your, of your cart. You're, you just want to go through both of these guys, through one, through the other, and then it's going to sit on this bar. And then you just flip your cart over, is what I did, and then tie it down like so. So it's gonna be tied like that on the bottom. And you can do as many of these on the bottom as you want. I think I did uh, like four or five. So, and then on the top, the pipes are gonna be on the outside of the bar. The bar is gonna sit like so. Um, you just do the same thing, but it's just going to touch. It's just going to touch the, and see, it's not going to get in the way of the rod. So you're going to tie yourself. You're going to tie it like so. And the bar is going to go through this little hole. And that's going to hold it in place pretty tight. And then you can just slide your rods in. So this is, this is what it look, will look like as it goes through. And that's really all you need. I mean, if you if you tie this together, this is already, I don't even have the backside taped, and it's already like super tight. I mean, it's not going anywhere, um, especially just holding a couple rods. So let me show you what a, the end product looks like here. When you get the end product, I'll back up a little bit. So you, you can see right here is just where it's tied on, and it just goes down through the bar. And then I just have two of them on here right now. Um, and then I just threw a couple of my smaller rods that don't touch the ceiling in. 
And then on the bottom, I don't know if you can see this very well in here, but on the bottom, I just tied it through. It sits on top of this bar. And I haven't trimmed them up yet, but. So the really great thing about this is that, you can see the rods there. The really great thing about this is once you take the rods out, um, you can keep that on, you can keep the holder on and still fold the wagon up. So if I were to take these out, so you can see that, say you're going from the pier and you're going to drive a couple more hours down the coast like we are, once your rods are out, you can leave that rod holder still connected and fold your wagon up and slide it right into the car. And, you know, if it, if it comes out, if one of these gets broken, or if one of these pieces of line gets broken, it's no big deal. You can just tie another one right back on. And um, you can also, if, say, you're done with your trip and you want to use your wagon for something else other than fishing, um, you can just, you know, with a couple, with a scissors in one 30 seconds, you can take the rod holder off and put it away. So... That's one of the additions I'm making for this trip. Um, I'll probably run down some more of the gear and stuff that's coming in right now. We have um, about seven weeks until we leave. And I'm really stockpiling a lot of stuff. But that rod holder, again, I think it was $18 for for, um, for the supplies in order to make that. And I, I think it's going to work really well. I'll, I'll let everybody know if there's any major flaws um, that we experience on our trip. All right, thanks for watching. Good luck if you pick up one of these wagons and decide to make a rod holder of your own.